Hello everyone. Today let me show you something uh, really cool and I think I I hope this will be uh, very useful for uh, saving a lot of your time and uh, the reason I'm making this video is that I uh, believe that if you can do something quickly, if you can uh, deliver your work or if you can uh, finish your task uh, quickly, then you can definitely move on to something else. Maybe you can enjoy your time, maybe you can go for a walk or maybe you can just uh, watch some movies on Netflix. And uh, and it is really important to, uh, to also learn different techniques that will uh, help you in uh, getting faster and efficient. So today I want to talk about uh, a simple way to retrieve the information from your uh, Jira instance and uh, that information in this particular case would be the list of projects. Now let us say you receive uh, one uh, requirement or maybe your manager is asking you or someone is asking you, maybe your boss or your client that please uh, can you give me a list of all the projects in CSV format. I really need this in the next half an hour. So tell me, I mean, just, just think about it. How would you uh, do it? How would you uh, convert a JSON response from the REST API call that you will make into a CSV? Now, there are a couple of ways of doing it. And by the way, of course, I'm talking about REST API. You may not even know that it is possible using a, a REST API. So let me show you. If you, let us say, have to retrieve the list of uh, projects, what you can do is you can, uh, I mean, if you need, you need to be logged in, by the way. So if you're logged in, you can always use your browser to make a REST call. And uh, first of all, you need to understand uh, and you need to learn how to interact with Jira using REST API. And I have like, I think 25, 30 videos, maybe more, just talking about uh, different things that you can do with REST API. So if you look at this JSON, here you have the JSON that you can easily convert into a CSV. Maybe you, you can copy it. And uh, if you search online, I have talked the talked the, I have been talking about it for for quite a while now that use different tools. So you can always convert a JSON to CSV. So if you search online, this is of course one way of doing it, which is okay, but uh, you are basically trying this this online tool that may not be ideal because you're sharing your stuff with external uh, party. So you can actually convert uh, JSON to CSV. This is of course one way. The other way of course is to write your own script or do something in your own favorite programming language. But today I want to show you how you can do it uh, using nothing but your uh, your terminal using, uh, using a simple shell script that you can uh, maybe uh, use somewhere else. Because the good thing about shell script is that you can actually plug it in to different things. Maybe you want to send this list of all the projects to someone every day. So you can actually configure this shell script and uh, call it and uh, maybe use a, you, you, use your cron job to do it for you. Uh, and you can pretend that you're working, but it is not you working. It is the shell script that is doing all the job. So let us, <laughs> let us see how we can do that. And before, of course, I'll uh, start talking about uh, this particular method. Uh, I of course want to talk about one more time talent API. So whenever you're interacting with Jira, whenever you're trying to play with uh, uh, different endpoints, use a tool like talent API or maybe Postman because it will make your life a lot easier. Now, in this case, if you want, let us say, if you want to let us say get a list of projects, you can make a simple REST call. And if you, I mean, of course, you need to be authorized. And I have talked about authorization. I, I, I don't know. I think five times on my channel because people ask this question, the same question over and over again, which is fine. But I think uh, try to search yourself. I mean, things are not very easy. I mean, things are not, not very difficult in case you're trying to do something similar. So let us say you want to retrieve the list of projects. And by the way, I'm using this option here called expand lead because maybe your manager is also asking you, uh, Ravi, please uh, create a list of projects and I want it in CSV and I also want their project lead names because I want to do something with them. Now, of course, this is a simple example, but uh, when you receive this JSON, first try to understand this JSON. You have this, of course, in a body, a JSON body where you have different elements like 
self or maximum results blah 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 <clears throat> and the main thing is of course the values and right now of course we are looking at maximum results 50 but i believe uh, you should be able to change a lot of these things so if you click on uh, one of the value so you have your uh, id you have your key you have your uh, lead name which is again uh, within uh, this particular value and uh, you have to of course go within this lead and then get maybe the display name or maybe the account id and then of course the project information like name and uh, maybe you want the project type key now let us uh, let us do it using uh, using nothing but uh, simple shell script and by the way if you are using uh, talent api tester if you see here you will get an option called copy as curl so this will actually give you a curl command which you can straight away use on your terminal and that is what i will be using and let me show you what what i have been uh, uh, playing and trying to configure for you guys so that i can uh, maybe show you how you can do something similar so if you copy that curl command and if you paste it uh, on your uh, on your terminal i i'm assuming that you're using maybe linux or maybe mac on windows i am still not sure i i think you can use powershell but i'll let you guys to search it yourself but i think it should be possible so what you need to do uh, you can of course uh, make sure the endpoint is correct like right now i'm, I'm not really using uh, lead here so let me just expand it and do lead so if you do this you will get a json within your terminal and it, it is fine it is fine it, and it is uh, a good start but this is not really useful you want to basically convert this json and only you want certain fields so the first thing that we'll do is, is we'll of course try to uh parse this json now there are different ways of parsing json um i mean you can al always use different uh, uh i'm sure you, you can use maybe grep which always works or maybe uh, awk uh, but i have a better suggestion for you there is one uh, very nice uh, utility called uh, jq you can install it from your package manager and if you pass this to your jq you will basically get this very nicely formatted json and the the, the job of J jq utility is not just to pass or not just to display this nicely but it will also or it can also parse your json now if you remember the json that we were looking at uh, it has uh, if you look at the body here or, 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 or the response of the json you have the value so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the values from uh, from the json so what we'll do is we will uh, use we will basically pass some additional uh, uh, arguments so you can do something like uh, let me just expand this slightly for you so you can do something like dot values because that is what we are looking for dot values and if you now do this you will hopefully only get uh, values but we don't really want values we actually want uh, uh, within values we need something like maybe the lead or the project name or maybe the key so let us first get the project name so to get the project name all you need to do you need to use uh, uh, you need to basically pass in some additional things here like uh, dot name and now you have the project name and that is it uh, i mean we are not we are not done i mean it is, we're actually quite close but this is a good start now if you do something like this like instead of dot name if you you may also want to get the id so you can you can probably try id here this will work you have the ids but if you want to do something like dot name it it will not work because you have to basically make sure that this is in the right format so what i'll do i'll use something like uh, i mean you have to enclose this if you want to basically have multiple things multiple fields that you want to retrieve you can do something like uh, uh, within uh, within braces uh, and uh, apart from of course uh, doing this and closing this within uh, braces you also need to also make sure that you are also trying to combine this string you're making a single string with id and name and before the brace you have to also use this uh, backslash so that uh, uh, jq will evaluate uh, this uh, when you run this command so if you now run this oh i think there is something uh, something something wrong with this uh, let me just quickly fix it so what you need to do you need to basically pipe this here 
and I think this should work now. So now we have the ID and now we have the project name. Now the thing is that we have to enclose it. Uh, I mean, this is this is good, but we have to basically create a create a CSV file. So let me just uh, use comma here in between. So basically, the if you look at this particular uh, part here, we are basically creating this string, like everything within double quotes, uh, and and of course everything within double quotes will be printed as it is. But whenever you do something like uh, backslash and then within uh, braces dot id, that is that is basically the uh, evaluation of id and when you run this it will basically print everything in 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 their in, in individual lines and that is actually a great thing that you can do and uh, i think we are quite close now what we need to also do is we need to maybe fetch the key i think we need the key so let me also bring in uh, or add here um, so i'll do something like uh, backslash dot key and i'll also add one more comma in between because that is what we need to do and now we have the id we have the key and the project name and i think we can now similarly add uh, something like maybe i'll probably add maybe my lead information so for lead i think we were looking at uh, i'll probably expand this okay lead and then within lead we have uh, the display name so display name and we have a problem so i think i'll probably i think i missed something okay so it need to be dot okay and that is how we learn and that is how we uh fix things on the fly okay so i think we are quite close now and that is it to be honest this is great what you can do is you can actually use this entire command like this this entire thing and maybe you can uh, use your shell script i mean i will let you guys uh, do it yourself but uh, this is something that you can quickly and easily do maybe you want to enclose everything and uh, maybe you want to create a json like uh, project uh, list equal to and dollar and now you will have this variable that you can use maybe maybe let us let us use maybe echo dollar project list and this is your file you can maybe send it to um, maybe i'll just use the other one okay if, if i if i go back to the same command i will try to send this information to maybe a json or not a json but in this case we are trying to create uh, a csv file project list dot csv and uh, if you now look at the file project list dot csv uh no i need to cat it come on what happened okay i think i did something uh, okay come on i think i was trying to use a variable name so it has a variable name but that is not what we want to do let us remove the variable i'm just trying to show you that you can also like use a variable name and maybe write your script if you want to so let us do it again and before that i may i may want to clear this file let me just clear this file Okay, make sure this file is empty project list yeah definitely this file is now empty and uh, what i'll do is i'll now take a look at the uh i'll look at the command and i'll run it again and now if we go to this go to this, go, go to this file we have this json or not a json I'm, i keep saying json but this is a csv file and this is actually a great thing that you can do by simply writing one command one line one line of uh, not even a code yeah, it is yeah it is a it is a code i mean it is like a shell script that you have i mean it is not really a shell script at this stage but it can be a it can be a shell script but right now we just have uh, one single uh, line that is doing all the magic and what you can do now is uh, you can of course do wonderful things from this point onwards maybe you want to um maybe you want to um, do this automatically every day if you have to maybe create a report i'm just giving you an idea about you know the possibilities like doing your work smartly and efficiently y using this method you can actually also i mean just i'm just sharing a trick something that you should not be uh, sharing with your especially with your manager uh, you can also uh, log your time automatically maybe you can write a shell script and uh, 
मेक श्योर यू आर यूजिंग क्रॉन जॉब टू लॉग योर टाइम एवरी डे ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू सेव टाइम एंड यू वॉन्ट टू हैव फन यू वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर यू आर यूटिलाइजिंग योर टाइम इन इन द मोस्ट एफिशेंट मैनर एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल दी जोक्स आई थिंक वट एवर स्ट्राइंग टू कन्वे दैट नाउ पीपल आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स क्लाउड एंड वेन यू आर ऑन जीरा क्लाउड the only way to interact with jira cloud is using uh, the rest api and if you have been following my rest api videos that i have been uh, making for the past i think i think last year i started making these videos i have talked about a uh, lot of wonderful things that you can do with rest api so if you, in case you want to learn it you can go to my website ravisaga.in and by the way i'm not really trying to sell you anything everything is free all my videos are free and i will keep my videos free that is intention forever hopefully um so if you go to the mastering jira rest api you can uh, you can learn a lot of wonderful things that you can do with with rest api i think a lot of information is already there online people uh, just are not really sure where to start and that is my intention that is my uh, goal uh my 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 personal goal is to of course share whatever i'm learning and also try to give you ideas and and give you these uh, skills that you can ac- probably acquire and enhance over the years to uh, do your job easily and get better at what you're doing and of course eventually uh, be happy and enjoy your life uh, because when you have these uh, different skill sets different uh, tools that you can combine together and that 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 you can also uh not only combine together but also use them in different ways like you know today i showed you something that i don't really i i don't really think i showed something similar like this uh, previously on my channel uh but i i, I do use these things uh, quite often for doing my own work and uh, and i thought i'll probably give you some hints and ideas about uh, using uh, rest api along with curl and maybe potentially a shell script to do it automatically so let us end this video now and uh, and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye